Hi there, I'm Beth with 50 Plus Beauty and I'm coming to you from my shower to show you my shower beauty routine. Ever since Alan and I got this bathroom remodeled maybe about four or five months ago, taking a shower has become a thing of beauty for me. I really think that in the shower you can start your beauty routine for the day and I get a lot of my important beauty elements taken care of right here in the shower. It takes me like 10 minutes in the morning. I just love it. But first, I'd like to thank City Beauty for sponsoring this video in order for me to get the word out about their 35% off site-wide Valentine's Day sale, but it is through Tuesday, which is Valentine's Day. You get 35% off site-wide, which is just wonderful. And I did want to show you a few of my favorite products, although you can buy anything there you want. I absolutely love the City Lips Lip Plumper. This is their clear plumping gloss. And I apply it whenever I start my makeup because it goes on clear and then by the time I actually finish with my makeup it has plumped my lips out and gotten rid of a lot of the little fine lines both on the lips and around. Absolutely love this. You can use this on its own or you can cover this with another lipstick after it's done its good plumping work. Now one of my favorite lip combos is actually from City Beauty. I'm wearing it right now. Now the lip pencil is actually the Revlon Color Stay Lip Pencil in the color Nude. I have it as an outline there. And then inside my lips, I am using this wonderful little Wonder Worker. I use this all the time. This is the City Beauty Lip Plumper in the color San Diego. And there you can see that. I'll put it on a little bit more. And I love this because you can just get away with using the lip liner and the lip gloss or just the lip gloss if you're not a liner girl. But I think that is absolutely a beautiful lip combo. Now I also have their mascara on right now and I love their mascara. This is their Beyond Mascara and as you can tell it gives you long thick lashes. Really kind of a glam look if you like that look. It has a wonderful little mascara brush, very plush and tightly woven to really get between each lash and make each lash look its best. And if you're interested in looking at City Beauty's skincare products, and they are wonderful, almost all of them have an instant feature which gives you the firmer look that you're looking for, the more wrinkle-free look that you're looking for, and then they also have long-term benefits. And I won't go into all the details, but one of the great products they have is the Skin Lifting Booster. You mix this with your foundation and it really helps kind of make your skin look a little firmer. And I'll link a video below showing you the effects of this. It is really a little wonder worker. And then this multi-action sculpting cream is something I also have done a video on and I continue to use it to this day. It really is helpful if you need to like firm up your face, firm up your neck, and in just a few moments, I'll be showing you another City Beauty product, which is their Invisicrepe Body Balm, which I use all over my body to fight crepey skin. And before I show you my shower routine, I did want to show you my outfit of the day, which in this case is a swimsuit, and my swimsuit and all the jewelry, very reasonable in price and from Amazon. Now let's get into the shower routine. And the first thing I do is actually, I use these two little body brushes. And I think they're five bucks a piece on Amazon. They're really inexpensive. But basically what I do is on dry skin, I just quickly brush my whole body. And I know Dr. Dre says body brushing is terrible, but I did this for like two years and I quit when I saw her video. And after that, I just never felt like my skin felt as clean. And it is not like I'm scrubbing my skin raw. I'm just basically rubbing it like that. I also do it on the legs. I really think it's helpful as the first step in the shower to exfoliate your skin and get that process started. Now, the first thing I do is I grab this little black scruffly washcloth. These are from Walmart. They're like 10 of them for five bucks. They are totally, totally cheap. And I like them because as you're using them to remove your makeup, it doesn't look like a white cloth with a bunch of mess. It just kind of all blends in, which is really nice. And actually I wash my face with this cloth the night before, and then I leave it here on this hook in the shower so that I can get one other use out of it in the morning. And what I do is I go in with one pump of this facial wash, and I really don't have a preference on facial washes. If any of you have great ones that you love, if you could list that in the comment section below the video, that would be great but I just do one little pump of this and then I go all over my face with it, scruffle my whole face. And then I actually do shave my face and I'll link a video below. I have shaved my face for 35 years and I personally think it really helps exfoliate wrinkles, but I just basically go over this very, very quickly 
on my wet skin that also has the facial wash on there. And then the last thing that I do with the washcloth after cleaning my face is that I use this Dial deodorant soap. I got it because it is a whiter bar. We had the green Irish spring. And Ally, do you think this deodorant soap works as well? Oh, <laughs> he is saying, no, it does not. So we might have to go back to green. I'm very anal about that. But basically, I think this works fine for me. And so I use this for the private areas. And then I basically ball up the wet washcloth and throw it in the sink so I don't forget to remove it from the shower. But I'll put it right back here right now. Okay, I forgot to mention this. Before I wash my face, on those days when I do wash my hair, which I wash my hair just twice a week, I go ahead and use my shampoo and my conditioner, which are right here. And again, on shampoo days, I do that before I wash my face because basically you apply the shampoo and then you put the conditioner on and then you have more time to let the conditioner sit there. And I will show you what I'm using for my shampoo and conditioner. And I absolutely love these products. This is the Kenra Volumizing Shampoo and the Kenra Volumizing Conditioner. I have used these for probably two years now. And every time I switch away to something else, I just don't have the body that I do using these products. Absolutely love these. And I do have another tip when you're washing your hair or using conditioner is one of these little scalp massagers. And I won't put this in my hair because I'm actually kind of dressed up right now because I have another video to do this morning. But what you do is you apply the shampoo to wet hair and then you scrubble this all around. And you know when you're lying back in the chair and your stylist is washing your hair and she's using her fingers to really massage everything, that is the most wonderful feeling. And really, for less than five bucks, you get the same feeling in the shower. And I think massaging your scalp is really helpful because the blood rush is there. And I think it really does encourage hair growth. Okay, again, I shampoo twice a week and once a week I strive to use a hair mask. And you can see here it says hair mask. And what is in there is my absolute favorite hair mask. And this is the It's a 10 Miracle Hair Mask. And again, I've been using this for probably a year and a half, every other week, I would say. And I think it does beautiful things for my hair. And I've tried other hair masks, other hair conditioning products, deep conditioning products, and I've never really gotten the results that I get out of the It's a 10. It is a little pricey, but to me, it's worth it. Okay, now the next step is that I wash my body and I use these scruff leaf gloves from Amazon and they are fantastic. I have used these for maybe about two years. Everybody in my family tends to get them for Christmas in different colors, that kind of thing. But basically what I do is I use this body wash here, just a couple of pumps of this. And that body wash is actually this product, which is the Olay Plus. And again, I am not super wedded to this body wash. And if you have other body wash products you like, please let me know in the comment section. I used this once when I went to my son's house for the weekend and I thought it was nice and it's inexpensive. So anyway, I do about two pumps of that and then I just scruffle everything on my body. It takes like almost no time to get your whole body really clean. Just like the body brushes, these exfoliating gloves just make your skin feel so clean and invigorated and fresh. Now, after I do that, on shampoo days, I'll go ahead and rinse everything out of my hair and then I will towel dry off. And while I'm still just a little bit moist, I go ahead and use this wonderful cream from City Beauty. This is their Invisicrepe Body Balm. And I really feel that since using this, my thighs look a little bit smoother. I think my arms look less crepey. And let me show you how this looks. There it is. It is a very rich, very emollient cream. And I'll go ahead and show you a little bit how it applies like on my arms. And I really think since using this, you know, my elbows, I'm sure you're, you'll think they don't look very great, but for me, they look a lot better than they did because I have very dark looking, crepey kind of elephant elbows, but I really think this has helped. And I just apply this cream all over my body. And remember that this cream and everything on the City Beauty website is on sale 35% off site-wide. Okay, my final step in my shower beauty routine is actually applying my hormones. And I am not a doctor and I'm not recommending you do this, but my OBGYN knows about both of these creams. I have an estrogen and a progesterone and he totally approves of them. I will show you what is actually in those jars. And that is the Source Naturals Hormone Creams. This is a natural soy-based progesterone cream. 
and this is an estrogen cream and I use them twice a day and I just put them on my inner arms here. I used to do it under my neck because supposedly these hormones are known to firm the skin, but I never noticed any skin firming effect in like the year and a half I did that. So now I just apply the creams inside my arms and I use about a quarter teaspoon of this and about a half teaspoon of this. I use these twice a day, but I use the progesterone cream more often than I use the estrogen. But again, that is just my formula. Well, that was a look at my shower beauty routine. And if you have things you do in the shower that you love, then I hope you'll share the information in the comments section below the video. And I always like to leave you with a little thought for the day. And normally I draw one of these mind of a champion cards. However, I did it before I got in the shower because it seemed a little awkward to do it in the shower. But I thought this was a really good one. This one is, I am ready to open new doors. I am ready to open new doors. And it says, get out of your comfort zone. What is something you've always wanted to do but pushed it aside? Take a leap and do it today. It can be a hobby, joining a club, or learning something new. Get out of your comfort zone. And ladies, usually when I have a card like this, I'm explaining what the card is and I'm telling you how I triumphed over whatever that thing is. And quite honestly, I am not doing very well in this area. And I would love your comments about this. In other words, things you are doing differently today than you did yesterday, maybe adopting some new hobbies. I talked to one lady who was learning the piano, which is just wonderful. So friends, just for today, if you are taking the time and effort to get out of your comfort zone, I would love to hear in the comment section just what you're doing because I really need to join you and I would appreciate the ideas. Take care and I'll see you in my next video.